Traveling the Wild West TV with Wes David is brought to you by Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest, Adventure Destinations. Book your trip of a lifetime with Adventure Destinations and Thompson's Resort, along with Cam Clark Ford, the official vehicle of Fishing the Wild West TV. This week, Fish in the Wild West TV is back in Lac La Biche, Alberta. We're fishing with Lac La Biche Fishing Adventures, which we met at the Edmonton Boat and Sportsman Show this winter. Based on last year's experience, we're looking for some more great big world-class walleye, and Lac La Biche Fishing Adventures knows where to find them. I'm just gonna keep you, let me know when you're ready, Doug. Yeah. Because I do have one nibbling. Okay, well maybe we'll get two at once. That'd be nice. I think I got Isn't another it? nice walleye here, similar okay. to the last one. I'm gonna stop and help you. You ready? I am. If you are, here we go. Oh yeah, that's a great that's fish. Nice. Oh. oh, good save. Bloopers. Wow. <laughs> you're on your own with the net. I am, that's okay. I can, I'll take care of this one. And when and you're I ready, thought... I'll, I'll help you. I should not leave my rod in the water. <laughs> I thought it would be quick. Probably around that 50, 52 mark like the last one. And we let him go and... Net mine. Oh, over. You got yours? Great. You're over there hosting the show. I got to net my own fish. Yeah, hey, well, I think you're doing a good job of it. Oh. Beauty fish. Yeah. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, this was going to be a... This is a great fish. No wonder he was willing to take my rod under. Yes. He would have had a new fishing rod for Christmas. And the foolish thing is I've done that before. I've oh, left. Oh no. I think we've all lost a rod to the. So that's a nice. That's a great one. Great walleye. Yeah. Look at his, something's yeah. hit him. Probably a pike. There's some great pike here in Lac There's some really nice pike in Lac Labiche. We're going to get him back in the water. Let him go heal his tail. So, all we're doing, we're here fishing today with uh, Lac La Biche Fishing Adventures. We got Doug on the boat with us. Um, but you come off the water yesterday from a tournament. Yeah, we were doing a tournament in Calling Lake. Calling Lake, yeah. so they come off, you finish mid-pack. Yeah, middle of the road. Uh, you know, I actually didn't check the scoreboard, but we didn't need to, so it's somewhere <laughs> in the middle. But it was a great derby, well, a good event, well put on. Excellent. Yeah. So he was out working yesterday fishing a derby. We got him in the boat today. We're staying at your beautiful accommodations. We've been on the water probably 10, 15 minutes, got set up. Got two fish in the boat. We're going to go for some more. Moved locations and we moved out to deeper. We're in 19 feet of water. We're bottom bouncing uh, 1, 1 1.1 miles an hour. And the key is zigzagging in and off this structure. Just over here is a hill that comes up to about 10 feet, and I was just coming down, and he hit it in 19 feet. But whenever you're bottom bouncing, never just go straight. Go in a zigzag pattern. A lot of times, Ada, you've noticed that they'll take the blade when it's on an inside on turn, an inside turn, yeah, outside turn mm -hmm. where it speeds up. Oh, that's a this really is nice a great one. fish. I'm gonna. Oh, Doug. I'll bring them to you, Doug. Yeah, you betcha. Okay, put your net in the water. Perfect. That is a great fish. That's We're amazing. gonna show them to you, wow. and I'm gonna have to get a picture with this beauty. So we got the hook out of them. I haven't measured them yet. Let's. We'll give them a quick measurement so that uh, we can tell you, our viewers, what exactly he was. Get him here. Beautiful fish right on the bottom, 19 feet of water, and he's exactly 70. Nice or fish. sorry, 69, sorry. Yeah. Beautiful fish. We'll get him back in the water. Oh. Away he goes, no worse for wear. Now, Doug, we were talking off camera. There's there's a tournament coming up this this weekend. Yeah, this weekend coming up, you bet. So we're actually helping you pre-fish. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> so I'm hoping to come back and get him. <laughs> yeah, he's back. So tell us just quickly about that tournament. It's, yeah, it's, so it's Saturday and Sunday, and it's put on, the county puts it on. It's 
It's County of Lac La Biche. You betcha. And it's an annual tournament. Annual tournament. Uh, and it's been running now for quite a few years, and it's an amazing tournament. Uh, so, yeah, people coming from all over. So. If you're looking to get into tournament fishing, they can stay at your bed and breakfast. Yes, you bet. If those dates book up pretty quick. <laughs> and compete with some of the best anglers in the western provinces here at Lac La Biche. This segment is brought to you by Big Sky Flies and Jigs, Tackle You Can Trust, and Power Pole, Total Boat Control. Closed captioning is brought to you by Buzz Bomb Tackle, iconic sonic fishing lures made in North America for over 50 years. What is your average walleye in this lake, like size-wise? Yeah, you... that's great. So generally we're getting them up 60 plus. Is 60 usually, centimeters. Yeah, 60 to 70 centimeters. Now, it's either they're they're nice and big and healthy like these ones we're catching, or we do catch, it seems like, around that 50. So it's either around 50 or around 65 to 70. Oh, and so we have caught some small ones, that's so right. it's a healthy. So it seems but, like one or the other. You really don't, either they're good eating size, I'd say, or they're or they're nice spawning size. So, and this one here is obviously. So, and this, you said, was a collapsed lake at one time. Yes. And it was... Oh, you excited? Yeah, this is great. Definitely. <laughs> you look nervous. You never, you never ever lose the thrill of catching one of these big fish, eh? Not even here in Lac La Biche no. when you catch them steady. Not even, no. <laughs> so this was a collapsed fishery, but it, you know, due to stocking and and hunters and anglers, you know, conservation groups and whatnot. Yeah, there was a lot of a lot of work put in by the conservation groups, um, by the uh, biologist teams. They did a stocking program on the lake. <laughs> yep. That and that was quite a long time ago. That's I think like 10 years. And as a result, you know, you can see some of the successful opportunities anglers have today. So their no efforts, kidding. their efforts to preserve the angling opportunities have been, I think, great success. So. This, I'll uh, get the hooks out and let you hold yeah, your fish. Yeah. This, well, I appreciate these it. are world class fish here in Lac La Biche. Like if you're looking for, here, Doug, hold your fish. Oh yes. Look at if this you're guy. looking for, hang on one second. Here. You know your personal best. Yeah. Um, pull them up to the camera. Your personal best fish, and abundance of fish. The, the, Lac La Biche. Make make Lac La Biche your next fishing destination. And you can even go with Doug, Lac La Biche fishing adventures, and he'll put you on the fish. Now, the only worry is he doesn't bite my bouncer off. My That's leader. right, because we were targeting walleye, so we wouldn't have no leaders, right? Yeah, but a lesser angler. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's coming to me. I still don't know. He, now he doesn't seem to act like he even knows he's hooked. So maybe he's changing his mind. He wants to be a walleye again. Yeah. <laughs> And it is a walleye. It is a walleye. Mm. He just hit and ran like a pike. I was kind of hoping for a great big pike that yeah, it's known yeah. for. Yeah, maybe it was a pike in his last life or something. All right. Well, it was a little bit in between bites, probably 15 minutes. Here, I'll give you some slack in a sec. Probably about 15 minutes in between bites. And as you can probably tell, the uh, wind has come up. We're a little bit past that walleye chop, but that's all right. We're still catching incredible walleye like that. We just have to work the boat. Boat control now Absolutely, is key, yeah. staying on these walleye, still moving on and off that structure, and speed is key. This Gear Talk is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Let's talk about what we use today on Lac La Biche here, catching some incredible walleye. Starting with the rod, we use a Streamside Predator Classic, medium heavy action, uh, matched up with the Streamside Reel. We had that spooled with Sunline X Plasma 20 pound braid. And then we went with bottom bouncing. And I know you've heard us talk about bottom bouncing on Fish and Wild West TV before, but this time we were using a one ounce down to a half ounce bottom bouncer. Our goal was to keep that bouncer 
hitting the bottom every two, two and a half feet. So speed was dependent on whether, what we were doing, going into the wind, cross the wind, up or down the hill. Behind that, we were bottom bouncing a slow death hook um, with a leech or night crawlers were working, but the leech came up on top throughout the day. And we just moved up and down that structure, creating, moving fast enough to create that flash and vibration and silver, golds, and even uh, chartreuse were doing really well. But silver, it was pretty hard for me to put down. Come out and try these techniques, whether it be in Lac La Biche or any walleye fishery, when the bite is a little bit slow and you're faced with some challenging wind conditions, which we were today. And I promise you, you'll find a few walleye and you'll hook up. This segment has been brought to you by Hooked Magazine, Hooked on Fishing in the Great Outdoors, and Big Chief Meat Snacks, Big Taste, Big Adventure. This segment is brought to you by Streamside Rods and Reels, We Keep You Fishing, and Gill Fishing, Anywhere, All Conditions. Now you're making me pull up. We're coming through a lot of fish stuff. <laughs> we were marking them good there. Oh, this hit. is going to be another one of those nice, nice healthy ones here. Now, they're all pretty healthy, mind you. But... Man, they're all amazing. Even the one small one we caught. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, they're still under us. Oh, look at that. Beauty. How do you like this streamline or streamside rod? Yeah, these are great. This is a medium action. Yeah. Medium heavy. Yeah, medium heavy. Yeah, and it's, it's just right for this, just right for these walleyes. Like, there's 20 pound sunline braid on there. Yeah. It's nice you can see the line in the water when you see which angle he's coming in with. There he is. That is a beauty. Beautiful. Take them out of their dug. I won't right. set them down, then those hooks won't tangle. You betcha. Can you reach? Oh, I got them. I should say her because it's definitely one of our spawners here. Yeah, we're here, uh, I think it's the 4th or 5th of June. Um, so these are, these big fish are also spawned out and they're this big. Um, we were here last year, we did some Lindy rigging on the other end of the lake. We're in the West Basin right now. Do you want to measure? Uh, I'm, thinking, uh, I'm thinking it's about a 65, but if you that's, want to check it. That's good. good enough for me. That's Maybe a little bigger. That's a great, great fish. fish. So eh? we're here in the West Basin. Last year, we were Lindy rigging at the under, other end of the lake. And quality fish up there, qual this whole lake is just, it's loaded with quality fish. and. Everything so far, they're on structure that walleye should be on. Rocks, drop-offs from, we're fishing eight down to 19 feet of water, nice slopes, and they're exactly where walleye should be. We're bottom bouncing, finding active fish, and you, you may go through a lot of fish, but it's the active fish that you're triggering the bites from. He didn't hit it hard, so I'm worried they didn't get a real, real good hook set on him. Letting him fight a bit to make sure it sets. Again, just, uh, I know you can't see it, but underneath here, about right over here is eight feet of water. And about 10 feet behind the power poles is about 20 feet of water. And it's just a, a hill. And they're sitting at different levels on that hill. He's a, he's a big fish. Yeah. Again, you saw me, you saw me lose that big fish, which we were guessing was about 70 centimeters. Anywhere else I'd be laying in the middle of my, on the floor of my boat, in the fetal position bawling. But here at Lac La Biche, you can go two, three boat lengths and get into another one. Especially when you fish with our friend Doug here from Lac La Biche Fishing Adventures. Here's another. Okay, Doug, here you go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is another P 
big. Like they're just. Mm -hmm. I wish that everybody at home could be here. I gotta get the pliers. Get him out. It's just right there. Um, hang on, Chuck. I wish everybody at home could be here with us consistently catching these these great big walleye. Look how fat they are. I don't want to hang her vertical. Just incredible fishing. Um, and non-stop big fish like this. And I know you can't be here with us, but you can book a trip with Doug and uh, Lac La Biche Fishing Adventures and five minutes, half mm -hmm. a mile from, from your bed and breakfast. You can be on the water, and this morning, 10 minutes, we were into fish. Yeah, you bet. The launch is just right up from the bed and breakfast, and we actually got the docks, the private dock there, so you can have your boat right on the uh, right on the on the property so you can get in in the morning and go fishing and you bet all meals cooked we woke up to a hearty breakfast lunch on the boat and we're going back here shortly for prime rib you bet fishing the wild west tv will be right back this segment is brought to you by mustang survival live beyond land and Canal to Hotels, for wherever life takes you. you this gotta... is shallow, Doug, 10 feet. Yeah, I was hoping it might have been a, a pike for a change, but I think it's a walleye. I've never fished with a walleye angler hoping for a pike. Well, you know, it's just uh, you catch- With a bottom bounce. <laughs> you catch the odd pike is nice, too. I like to do that, too. But I mean, oof. Doug, well, you got time to fight this. Yeah. Walleye, what you were hoping for a pike. Tell us a little bit about your bed and breakfast and your guiding service. How, yeah, does, how do people find you? How do they book? And what yeah. do you offer? So you can you can check us out on our website. It's www.fishandlaclabiche.ca. Actually, sorry, laclabishefishing.ca. Should get that right. And you can do multiple day or single day fishing adventures. Or not at all. You can just book your bed and breakfast. Yeah, absolutely. So you can just come book the bed and breakfast and do DIY style. Where or you can bring your own boat. You can do bring your own boat and do like the modern Airbnb style rentals yep. as well. And that's nice and private that way if you want to do your own thing and guide yourself. Or you can choose to add a guide to that as well. And so there's lots of options. We really have an adventure for everybody. You got a boat launch right not far from yeah. the, the bed and breakfast. Yeah, about, about a kilometer up the road. We've got our own boat or the municipality boat launch and then we have a private dock and you can tie your boat up in the day come in for lunch and barbecue and, and what if you're not a fisherman that lac la biche has a lot of historic sites and things to see in town yeah we're right actually we're fishing right now oh my look at this <laughs> this is a big fish yeah. we're fishing no right, <laughs> right up from the mission itself so the mission historical site and then Lac La Biche County has always got stuff going all summer long, whether it's family days and all other kinds of great stuff happening in the community. Well, booking a trip with you wow. would be a great Father's Day gift. Look at these fish that Doug puts you on. Man, that is beauty. And they've, oh, you see them. We're, we're not doing anything. How the fish are coming, they're coming. And they're all great fish like this, healthy, strong. And as we were talking off camera, they Slippery. recover from the spawn very quickly because it's June 4th or 5th. Yes. And they're that big, that healthy and and stacked up. And this is only second spot you brought us to? Yeah, spot. yeah. It's working the shoreline, yeah. We're just helping Doug pre-fish for the tournament that's coming. So this is only the second spot that we brought him to. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Go for some more. <laughs> and he hit it how a walleye's supposed to hit it, Doug. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to hit anchor. We're trolling into the wind, keeping our speed 0.9 to 1.1, and just running them right on the bottom. There, uh, you go through groups of fish, and then you'll go nothing, and then you'll come across another group, or you circle back to where where we just marked this one. But yeah, you definitely want to. You come fish here in Lac La Biche, you want 
You want these medium heavy action rods and 20 pound braid line. I have 20 pound sun line on here. And you know, you hear a lot of time walleye fishing, 10 pounds, eight pounds, but you need to feel these fish and you need a rod with some backbone. All right, I'll give you some slack. Wow, look at that. Oh man, these are great fish. We did a quick measurement. He was 73 centimeters. Um, big, strong, healthy fish. Right after the spawn, we're gonna let her go. These big girls sitting right on the bottom, taking the bottom bouncer. She doesn't even know she's released. She can go at any time. There she go. Give that flip of a tail, let him go. Never pull a fish backwards through the water because you actually run gill or water through their gills backwards and it's not healthy for them. Just hold their tail, let them go. They'll give you a tail whip, gone. Well, how would you recommend people get a hold of you to book this and how far in advance? Yeah, you bet. The easiest thing to do is check out our website, www.laclavishfishing.ca and then all of our contacts, their phone number, and. You can call ahead and you can book for 2023, 2024. We got lots of openings coming up, so give us a ring. Or you can go through Lac La Biche Tourism or the county of Lac La Biche. That's this week's episode of Fish in the Wild West TV from here in Lac La Biche, Alberta. If you like what you've seen, follow us on social media or through the pages of Hook Magazine. Whoa, he come off right. That was I a tried. big, big walleye. <laughs> No, that's, he counts, we saw him. Did you see him on camera? He counts. <laughs> that was a beautiful wall. Yeah,